Hello and welcome to today's devotion. Uh, we will be continuing in the sermon this Sunday with uh, Jesus' Sermon on the Plain from the Gospel of Luke, but uh, today I actually wanted to talk about uh, some, something in my office because I've decorated my office with things that are important to me, and I realize many of you will never come up here. This is, you know, we'll probably meet downstairs, so I thought I would share one of those. So you can see it behind me. Um, you can see that it's a set of crosses, uh, and it comes from... A youth lesson many 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 moons ago uh, that I offered and uh, what I did was I had the youth gathering me well first I went to Goodwill and I got plates uh, and then I got a pillowcase and I put all the plates and the dishes in the pillowcase and um, I took the youth and we went outside where there was concrete right outside the church door and I held the pillowcase out and I said I had them all look at them first and I tied it back up and I said so what do you think is gonna happen if I drop these and they said they're gonna break and I I think you're probably right so I did I dropped it and I had them all look at all the pieces and I said is there really any way to put these back exactly the way that they were before and they said no not really and so I talked about how that's kind of what sin does to us that sin can um, radically change us um, can uh, dramatically change us and so uh, I had the youth and myself we went inside and we went and worshiped and thought a little bit more about that and I had the other adults take those dishes and take all the pieces and um, lay them out on some tables in a classroom where we had these um, wooden pieces there and so after the worship I invited the youth into that room and I said we can't underestimate the power of sin um, both in our individual lives and in the world like it does damage it does uh, it can break people um, but that's not the end of the story that uh, we believe in Jesus who has the power to transform that, um, to uh, wash it away in a way that nothing else can, that we cannot do on our own. Uh, and in the process, we can take what was previously seen as broken uh, and transform it into something beautiful through the power of the cross. And so I had each of them make a cross out of the broken pieces. And these are just some of them. Uh, some of them kept theirs, some uh, didn't, didn't make it over here. Um, but they are all beautiful in their own particular way. And so today I invite you to think about um, the, the brokenness that you see in your life or in the world, but also the ways that you have experienced God's transforming power of salvation uh, to remind us that we are not identified or determined by our brokenness, but uh, in us, God sees a beautiful child of God, uh, a, a person worth, worth, worthy, and sought after to save. That's how God sees us um, and the power of the, the cross. Uh, and Jesus' sacrifice and resurrection. So I invite you to consider that today as we go to God in prayer. God, you are a God of broken people and desire to bring us to wholeness. We come uh, humbly as we are, uh, not as anything more, but we are grateful that you are always ready to listen to us that you're always ready to speak to us, to speak to us of love and grace and forgiveness, to remind us who we truly are, that we are your beloved, now and always. We cannot escape this love, we cannot outrun or out -sin your ability to save us and forgive us. May we rest deeply in that good news today. May that inspire us and give us hopefulness for now and for the future, for our ability to follow your son faithfully in all that we do. We ask this in his beautiful name. Amen. As always, my friends, be well, be safe, and remember just how much you are beloved.